Welcome to the Empire Brothers Ramp and welcome back to my pirate campaign for the Empire Total War 2 Extended Mod, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time. We're after a massive fight with the Apache, now we also have a fleet we have to destroy over here with the Mughals, where at the moment they've got quite a few, it's just a ton of breaks, <laughs> so many breaks, a couple 40 gun frigates, but for the most part, seeing my fleet versus their fleet, I think we should be fine here, bounce power wise is pretty even, we're going to fight this ourselves just to make sure that we uh, do not lose too many ships, and uh, hopefully we are then able to capture and or sink every single vessel here so that this army of theirs is also destroyed. Slowly but surely, we have been able to convince some factions to stop fighting me. I would love to be able to convince, like, the Mughals, the Marathans, and, um, who else? Because, like, anybody in India right now and around there is not going to be really big of an, uh, much of an issue for us in there right now. And so anybody that we can get to fuck off is great. Um, the wind is kind of at our back here a little bit. So I'm going to have my guys, if you'll get set up over here, try and have you guys, there we go, try and angle like this way. So you're kind of with the wind. So we kind of have it at our back, so we can be a little bit faster. I think that works really nicely right there. And then they seemingly... What kind of way are you aim aiming right now or at this point? Are they just all... Oh, yeah, they're just all bunched the hell up. Okay, okay, they're really bunched up. Man, if they let get close enough, and I can just unload with Scattershot, this is going to be a slaughter. So they're not really in a formation like they usually are. They are kind of going over this way. So I would probably say it'd be best for us to kind of slowly but surely make our way kind of towards them a little bit. So like kind of just move on up a little bit this way. Because we want to get in range of them and then start unloading. We do have more firepower just inherently with how many guns I've got. So hopefully we can have it so we can get in range. Because once we do, with my grape shot, we'll slaughter these guys. Okay, we're getting close enough with some of my vessels. I'm trying to cut them off here. And I'm now switching to Grape Shot with most of you. So that way we can just get straight on up in front of them. And then just start slaughtering these guys. Like, you'll be able to get a good volley here into these vessels. And because every vessel is really small. Like, they have a couple 40-gun frigates, but there's not a ton of them, really. And yeah, you keep just kind of rotating around here. Because now you're, like, point-blank range. Now I want you to stay around here and just unload into them as they try and uh, go around you. See, so like, right there. You also kind of make your way up. Yeah, half the units in that one shot alone already. Keep rotating, keep them in the line of fire. You guys keep making your way over here as well. But yeah, slowly but surely, they should basically just be making their way directly into my fleet. Ideally. And then I can just sleep, slaughter you guys. Off to a pretty good start. Two vessels have already surrendered. Some of them are getting through because you guys are a little bit slower. But for the most part, yeah, like, you guys are kind of getting through here, but I've got another vessel just about to get through. You're pretty close to uh, surrendering here. I've got more guys coming on in. Some of you are going to start having to go, like, around them anyways, because this guy's kind of in the way here. But, come on, I need you to get through here. Come on, go a little bit faster before they go in front of you. I don't care if you guys ram into us. I have a bigger ship than you, so if you do, sure. That's fine by me. Yeah, there we go. We need to kind of, like, stop you guys from going past us here, so we can keep unloading into you. Okay, so I've had one vessel surrender at this point in time. Technically, that was my Admiral. Um, but everybody else is doing for, fairly well for the most part. Most of their vessels have given up. They've got, let's see, so five, six, seven, eight, nine vessels. Yeah, nine vessels left that have not given up at this point. This is now some of their bigger vessels now, too. It's so like a couple of you guys are still here. You're about to surrender. You guys are trying to sail past us here. That's not really working all that well for you. Uh, these vessels are supposed to be moving over this way, but they keep stopping for some reason. Um, so you guys need to try to go over there. Same with you guys as well. Kind of make your way up. Because at the moment, they are still kind of sailing towards us, but they are kind of spreading out now at this point in time now. Oh no, that was my Admiral! <laughs> my Admiral just exploded here. God damn it. I, he was only surrendered for a time. But then he exploded. Uh, must have been a stray shot, possibly. We've almost finished them off now at this point. So for right now, there's just like these three vessels, this vessel up here, and then uh, this vessel here. So there's only five of you guys left. Because you've surrendered. Yeah, you fully surrendered now at this point. So it's just these five guys here at this point. So we're just trying to get you guys to kind of make your way over here, get around to surrounding them. I've got all of these vessels kind of slowly making their way. Yeah, you're pretty close to them now. So you'll be able to unload on them. This one needs to kind of turn around here again. Because you need to kind of turn your attention there. You've also, although taken a lot of damage, you don't have many guns left at the moment. 
But, for the most part, with how many of them have surrendered, uh, it's only a matter of time until they give up now at this point. Okay, there we go. So, besides my um, Admiral exploding, um, for the most part, that's not bad. I might be able to grab... I'm, I'm kind of tempted to grab some of maybe the 40-gun frigates. Those are not bad ships. So, everything else, though, I will let just sink and or be sold off. I don't need any of these damn brigs. There's so many of them. So hopefully we were able to take out the entire fleet. Let's see. So they had one ship remaining. I was able to capture so much crap. Let's see. So did I get any of the 40-gun frigates? Another brig. This is a sloop. Brig. That's a 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 brig. I, I, I only captured brigs. I don't care about any of the brigs. All the brigs can be sold. That gives me another 23k. Love that. Um, I did actually sink the entire fleet, though. So, perfect. I, I did lose my Admiral, though. He did kind of explode. But I'd say that's pretty good. We were able to take you guys out. I'll have to be bringing you guys back to repair. Um, I'll at least get a new uh, Admiral started right away. Where is that? There it is. So, let's grab a new Admiral there for you guys. I'll be able to repair you. And then I actually have a little bit to build, it seems. So, I've got you. That I can upgrade. This I can upgrade. Actually, I can upgrade a lot of these. Ooh. Ooh, let's see. Can't do that there. That's actually a lot of possible money right there with all of you guys upgrading. Because what does that do specifically? It does give more happiness. Gives more happiness and more loaves of sugar. Um, technically, uh, well, the loaves of sugar do actually give us some money. Yeah, that's a little bit. Um, does it actually make the uh, happiness a little bit higher, though? But I think that's good for you guys. I, I have so many sugar plantations. Is it just the sugar plantations? It looks like it's just the sugar plantations. So I've got all those. And then I actually need all my roads upgraded too. But I do at least want to have it so that, hey, think that's... Oh, this is one more we can get. So one more there. I know over here with you guys, we were able to properly fully kill these guys off. I need reinforcements. And did I start that recruitment already? Yes, I did. I did start with some recruitment around here. Um, I would probably say, well, actually, maybe I should hold off on getting some of you. Like, I can just prevent... I can stop getting the one over here. That way I have a little bit more money to try and recruit some stuff over here. Um, oh, population is too low. That explains it. That explains it. Okay. Uh, population over here yeah, is also pretty low too. Yeah, okay. So if I'm going to recruit anything, actually, I should probably stop recruiting from around here then. Um, so let's have you guys just recruit that stuff from down here where I know I've got a massive population. So we can just grab a bunch of stuff. Probably say four of you guys, and then two of you guys. Because I've got quite a bit of all, all of my... Oh, am I, is there a limit to these guys? Oh no, I just don't have the money. I don't have the money right now, so that's okay. Um, we'll just get another cav unit then. Get another cav unit, another buccaneer, because I, I do mainly need a more cav. Um, we'll recruit those guys down there, because these areas just don't have a whole lot of population. But there we go. We'll at least now have some more recruits that will just take a little bit longer to get up here. Okay, so it seems the Apache are bunkering down at the moment. Um, that's kind of good for us. Also, we now have enough range uh, to actually be able to hit Cuba. Uh, you guys have nothing in here. Are you just going to maybe accept the surrender? Uh, yes, they did. Uh, it's a bit glitched there, but that's okay. Just uh, technically continue the siege and then it goes back normally. Uh, but there we go. So now we at least have this region under our control as well. Also, you guys now have a bunch of sugar too that I need to upgrade and plantations to upgrade. Slave trade stuff here. Religion... Let's see. Watching the meteor. It's going to reduce my income by 10% either way. Not exactly what I want. Oh my god, fuck! Scan out the court. Bribe the advisor. Fuck it. That's the best we can do there. Um, am I able to actually... Let's, let's see. What's my uh, stability at right now? So right now we have a stability of 3. We do have a stability of 3. I just don't like that my tax rate is being reduced continuously. At least I've got a far better governor right now for that. So Or treasurer. So you should be able to continue improving that uh, inflation. We've kind of been able to stabilize it at about 37%. That's not that bad. Um, let's see, recruitment report. That should be all down over here. So I was trying to get some more recruits. Are you guys good to go? Yes, you are. So it's just these five units here. Grab them. And then I could have sworn I had some guys. I thought I did at least because you're down. How many units right now? You're not down that many, honestly. And then, um, wasn't I going to try and grab a general? I thought I was, at least. I can just make you a new general. So we've got all these guys. Uh, let's get you onto the boats. And then I can have you guys go group up with the forces in um, Cuba. 
And now we need to start trying to make my way over to actually start trying to hit uh, the Bahamas. I will then have every single island under my control over here, which will be really nice. Um, I do need to make sure, first and foremost, to remember you. I have to make it right back over here. And we need to try and retra repair these this fleet. Uh, it's not that bad. That's not that expensive, so we can easily do that. Trait scan. Yeah, it just has this stuff related to inflation. Fusion captured. How much money does this make me, actually? It makes me about 1,800. Damn. Yeah, I like that. Um, I do want to co focus on... Okay, so these take less time to make. That's a lot of barrels of tobacco. Uh, but I still need to, like, get the road upgrades, too. I know we already started those up here. Because those are... Like, that's necessary. These areas, for sure, especially these two, need to have max road upgrades. Um, I should probably actually use my money here to build all this stuff up. So grab those three. Then you guys are kind of just chilling here. Um, I do have this guy, guy you are going to go over here. And then let's have you merge with some of my men there and there. Now, let's see. So for the most part, you guys have actually been pre pretty damaged right here. Um, reinforcements, at least. the uh, Just the guns. Oh, let's see, grab one more. These guys will be able to all move out next turn. I would say... Let's see. So the biggest... Okay, so I want to try and probably hit the biggest army right now. We have pretty much a full stack army here. Oh, wait. Let's wait one more turn, because then you'll actually recover. Well, no. I, I want to try and do damage now that I can. Uh, while I can. So let's have you guys... Let's move out of here. Let's try and hit you. And then uh, this should be... Yeah, for the most part, this army is pretty much completely destroyed. There's a couple units that are at full health, but for the most part, not that bad. But yeah, let's get rid of you guys. Then we can turn back around, keep watching over the area, um, wait for reinforcements until we go for their last settlement. Which I'm hoping that once I kill all three of these armies around here, there's going to be like one full stack army in the last Apache city. I can siege it out, starve it out, and then just easy. Um, and then we'll have to deal with uh, New, uh, New Spain still. New Spain still has Santa Fe that we're going to have to go to. I'm hoping we can get to them today. I want to be able to do so. Because I want to be able to start pushing into the rest of the Americas. Because it would work actually really well that my army that's going for the Bahamas right now, um, they would be able to kind of start hitting Florida. That'd be really nice. So let's have you guys kind of form on up here. We're going to be advancing onto them. They don't have any sort of artillery or anything like that. So we can just kind of ignore them in that regard. General, I'm just going to have you stay back for the most part. I don't really need you. But let's just start the deployment. Uh, get you guys to start trying to make your way up. They are pretty far away. I kind of have a slight uphill advantage, which is kind of nice. Okay, we've engaged them now. Start unloading into the enemy forces. Some of them are starting to try to hit us, primarily the pioneers. They're right up there. Also, they're kind of in range, at least over here. Trying to move you guys up a little bit more to start getting in range of their troops. Uh, their general's in the back. I'll probably send my cav back here got you with you to try and deal with him specifically. So far, they are just letting me pro pr just primarily shoot their warrior society units, which is great for us. So I'm going to get you guys a little bit closer. Actually, try and get you out of the tree line so you're not going to be missing so many of your shots. And then I'm going to get some of you guys up a little bit closer. Same uh, same reasoning. I also now almost feel sorry for them at this point, as I now have them completely surrounded, basically, at this point in time. I can have my cav go in the back here, too, to also start unloading on them. But we now have them surrounded on pretty much every side. They can't escape from us here. They can try and run away, but I don't think they're going to really be able to do much, if even if they try to. And probably get a little bit closer, even, just to make sure we're maximizing our damage here. Yeah, that was a massacre. Absolutely a massacre. Love that. That makes it so it's a lot easier for us to try and uh, eliminate these forces as long as we get fights that are similar to that one. Uh, and now hopefully we have enough movement to be able to get back to the city. And I'm a little worried that some of the other armies uh, might try and walk back in and take it. This is why I decided to focus on the strongest army first. Uh, only 200 casualties. That's not bad. Because then hopefully we can have it so that... Okay, I can almost get back. Um, and if you guys attack now, we should be okay. So we'll just keep trying to merge men together. And then what we can do is we're just waiting on those reinforcements right now. So next turn, we'll have a bunch of reinforcements ready. And I'll be able to start trying to make my way forward. I'll probably still try and focus on more of these guys. Um, I should be able to maybe make my way over down to you or you. Depending on if you move from your current spot or not. Okay, so you guys are actually raiding around Texas now. So what we're going to do is... Okay, so we did finish some research. I like that. Um, I think we're safe to leave this area. I'm going to start trying to make my way kind of back towards Texas. 
And uh, basically, I'm trying to catch up with you guys. I'm going to be sending my reinforcements up anyways right now because I've got all of uh, these guys. So we'll start trying to send you up here as reinforcements. You're about two turns away. And then I think, let's see, what do we have for force limit? Oh, we're actually pretty low on my force limit right now. Money-wise, making about 6k. I think we should probably grab some more grenadiers. The buccaneer units. Let's grab, honestly, I can just grab six of you. Grab six of you guys. Try and send you on up. Those are hyper bad. That's good for us. That's good for us as well. Might as well try and reduce. Oh, I've got a lot of points right now. Oh, hell yeah. So let's have you try and reduce inflation. Because it's only going up slowly right now. Global tax income. I do appreciate that. Shows you the yeah, reduce that right there. And then, oh, I can now upgrade my mines. <laughs> I think it's going to make my fucking inflation worse, though. Honestly, it doesn't give me that much. It gives me a little bit more. Um, I do need to finish all my road upgrades, though. So let's see. So who did we not? So we don't have one on Cuba. Um, I think we stopped. Wait. Oh, I just don't have the money for it right now. So there's at least one more for us there. Um, I'll have to have it, so we slowly but surely I'll be de developing my infrastructure around here. At least we have the ones built up. There we go. Finish that task. Um, that's been nationalized. Nice. Um, but yeah, we've at least uh, improved the roads in the areas that we really need right now. Increase the religion from level to five. We are getting there slowly but surely. I think we'll basically save the rest of my money for right now, because hopefully I can just catch up with you guys, slaughter you, because you guys should have like really low numbers. I don't think you guys have, like, this says it's about a half a stack, so about a stack total. Honestly, I think you guys are probably at, like, half or a fourth of that strength, given how much damage I did last time. Okay, so somebody was blocked in the path. Uh, oh, it was you. Just, I'm trying to drop off these troops here. I can just bring you guys over here. I don't know why you had to do it all the way around there. Just drop off the army. <laughs> there we go. So, those guys are now dropped off. I will almost have a full stack army now around here. I am able to recruit... Um, and the population around here is actually pretty damn nice. Um, wait, who the hell is this? Voodoo priestesses or regulars. What the fuck? Uh, what abilities do they have? So you can skirmish, hide in woods, means hidden, um, pass some trod, scares horses, resist to heat fatigue. Okay, uh, sure. Defense is really damn high. Holy shit. What's their range attack? Only two ammunition, accuracy 45. You know what? I, I do want to try every unique unit we have at some point. So you know what? Um, let's see. So we've got six units here. So I'll have two more slots. You're pretty low. Uh, but I can't recruit more of those guys over here right now anyways. So we have two more slots. Let's just get two of these. Let's just get two of these irregulars. I'm curious what their range attack is. I'm very curious about that. But yeah, we'll put you into that army. And then I can try and have it so that you guys, this yes, fleet... So uh, we'll have to go here. Yeah, we'll go here. That's where we'll want to then want to pick you guys up, bring you guys over to the Bahamas. And then we can use... I do love how this area has so much population. So we can use this as a really nice area to kind of build up uh, forces and send reinforcements over to um, Florida when we're invading that area. You guys will need some time. Um, back down here, got more men. You can make their way up. Oh, yeah, they're just rushing really far down this way. Okay, so... I could almost get there. Oh my god, do you still... <laughs> Why do you have so many armies? <laughs> oh my god, I, I was gonna say, I'm hoping that like they don't have another like three full stack armies there when I make my way over there, but no, it feels like they do. Oh god, I am catching up. I am catching up to them, but this is... Oh, actually, I think I should technically demolish that, because then I can replace it with a proper impl uh, plantation. Oh, that's a... Uh, well... That works, I guess. No, I probably should. Yeah. Well, barrels of tobacco. Yeah, no. I, I, I should replace these. I should replace these. This, These are the only things that I think that I'll actually keep. But I know this stuff over here, I probably should. Oh, no, but I can actually like keep those as they are. It makes quite a bit of money. No, I should replace these. At least you... Uh, this is a... Yeah, forge. Get, okay, get rid of those. We need to replace all these. Replace all those. That's another uh, research hall, which I forgot to utilize. Um, let's have you start doing my naval stuff. Sure, let's do that. You can get that, because then we don't have the negative. Those, I know, at least are fine. These I will demolish. Yeah, well, there we go. This one, too. Yeah, another uh, small plantation. There we go. And then I'm going to have you group up with these guys here. Group up with them. 
And then next turn, hopefully we'll then be able to kill off all these forces. I don't think they have a lot, so we shouldn't have to worry too much. I love how now they're just making their way back over towards their fucking city. Uh, Texas is having a letter of demands. What the fuck, Texas? Why the hell are you doing this to me? What are your letter of demands? You just want to be a bitch? Become discontent and reach disastrous levels for whatever reason. These workers are on strike. If I exempt you, it's not going to matter. They're so pissed off. Cultural differences is the biggest issue, is their saying. Okay, I think Texas is just going to rebel. Um, of fucking course they would. Okay, I there's literally nothing I can do to stop that right now. I will have to just focus my attention on dealing with the Apache. I don't want to have to make... Well, actually, no. You know what I might be able to do, especially if you stay there? Because I've got my reinforcements now. I've got you guys here. I can get to right about here right now. And you... Ah, actually, you can get up to them. Yeah, I can catch up to them. Just don't run. And I can at least kill one of you. Honestly, I'm just gonna let the others all take that. Victory yeah, that's not bad. They all die. I only lost 300 guys. Then do I have enough movement to hit the other one? Uh, no. I do not have enough movement to hit the other one, sadly. That's okay right now, though. But hey, we've been able to at least get a little bit closer to them. Uh, this other army should not be able to uh, withdraw and get away from us this time. And I do have my reinforcements are just back right here for Lord. us. Kind of want to maybe grab some more guys here. Yeah, we're going to go with the reputation for the political crisis. That's still going up there. We built buildings that give religion. Each of them gives it such a level of religion. Five. I don't know what building they did that, for, but okay. Sure. Slave trade stuff, and then... Let's see. So I've been able to finish some of the stuff around here. So you guys aren't as upset. Okay, so keep building that up. And then definitely try and get at least the basic cobbled roads around here. Um, I don't have enough money to get anything else. Although I can at least start getting the basic stuff around here. So... We do want to get the basic plantations, because these will give us more over time. Also, it does give happiness. Um, so I would probably say... I would want to get... Okay, because this was a... This was one of the smiths. I will grab that again. Oh, actually, we should get something that gives some public order, possibly. Because I can have you go... Well... Okay, we're going to avoid the area of Texas right now, because I know Texas is just going to rebel no matter what I do. So I'll wait until we get back for that. Although... Eh, I could probably maybe at least build the farm. It's not a bad idea to get that built up there. Um, yeah, build the farms first, we'll say. Oh, I forgot to get this one over here, too. So, that one, go to the farm, and then with those, I'm not going to have much money to get anything else. Oh, my God, they're still going at it. <sighs> Is it going to go away, please? Workers right now. I actually damaged stuff this time. Okay, um, what is that right now? It's at currently negative 21. The cultural differences is going down. Um, that's at least good for us. Okay, so you guys didn't move at all here. So let's just take you guys out here. This is not that big of a deal. You guys don't have much. I would have casualties I call bullshit, though. Okay, that's fine, though. Okay. But we at least now have it so that I'm just going to merge my men together. And then I can keep making my way forward. I I don't want to do this, but I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to have it so that we're going to go all in on this fight. Technically, if I attack you... I will lure out everybody else in a very similar fashion to the previous battle where their reinforcements will slowly but surely like walk on in towards me and I should be able to slaughter yes, them. I need to make sure that all the cab for sure is in this army. So you're going to join us all here because I need to make sure I have a lot of cab because we needed that last time. And then I'll grab the rest of the guns that I can fit in here and then let's just move up as much as we can which is basically nothing. And we now need to make it so technically it's, it's faster to go around that way. Okay, technically we're going to want to go up and around that way. I don't know why, but we will do it. So let's have you start trying to make your way up around over here. And then I do have a little bit more money. I'll start trying to make sure that we grab all the stuff that we want to grab. Um, so first and foremost, look at the plantations. Um, do I want to have more cotton or tobacco plantations? I don't think it really matters, really. Upgrade the farms again around here. You... Well, let's get one of each. So we just grabbed a cotton one here. Let's get a tobacco one over here. So we're not going to have it to be too saturated. And get that, and then you guys. Yeah, this area's pretty happy. Foreign occupation resistance is the biggest issue, so I would say you know what? Let's let's just keep getting the craft workshops just to get a bit more cash for us. Um, and then other than that, so that's just a bunch of upgrades here. There we go. Yeah, my my income. Sh oh yeah, there we go. It is starting to go up. Perfect. You guys here are just about to be able to. You can at least get to the ships this turn. I'm able to get on. Oh no, next. Damn it. 
Okay, well, next turn we get to try and make our way over to the Bahamas. Okay, so they're still raiding me over here, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But my army is going to be able to start making their way slowly but surely now over here. They haven't seemingly recruited anybody else. So again, we want to try and make sure we tank that tiny little army right there. That's the one we want to go for. You're going to kind of chill here with us and basically wait um, to kind of join on in. Um, oh, there are actual proper rebels now around here. I'm not going to be able to stop that. I'm not gonna be able to stop that. I might be able to like recruit a unit or two, but I don't think so. I don't even have a garrison there right now. Interesting. Um, a lot of roads is finished up. Love that. Um, Rebellion is in Texas right now. Of course it is. Um, let's see. So you guys losing morale because of the heat. Someone did someone just have the trait loot? Is that happening in here too now? Oh my god. I think that was like one of one of my guys just had the trait loot. Who 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 got it? Who, who's this nude son of a bitch? Is it me? It's not me. It's gotta be one of my generals then, possibly. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious that one of my other generals also had that. Or no, every general in my um, Antigone Kingdom campaign right now has that. And it's like, okay, who's got it now? It's spreading to my other campaigns. Uh, but no, over here, is it you? No, it's not you. Who the fuck has it? Um, I should have actually paid more attention there, but no, we can at least get you on over here. And now let's see. So if I want to attack the Bahamas, um, where's the, I want their, I want to just go through the port because then we should be able to drop off sooner. Let's see. So if we, let's get up a, a little bit closer and scout. So I see one little army there. Do they have anything in the port? They do. Okay. So yeah, no, we're going to, we're going to drop off over here because that army should not be able to get there in time. So we'll drop off. Yeah, if I just have to fight you guys, I, I'm set. I'm set. I've got this area then under the bag, under control. And I will then have everything under my control here uh, on the sea, which I love. That we are now at the point where we basically just control the entire... like We, we control the entire Caribbean at this point almost. It's beautiful. There's no other islands. Well, there's like one. Just up here. That's technically the only island in the Americas that I don't control. And uh, we're now slowly also pushing our front into the uh, mainland as well. Beautiful. I actually have an opportunity to intercept right now. Um, so given the layout, so you're the one that I'm intercepting. So I might actually be able to camp you guys off the map as you're making your way on in here. Because they've got some insurgents, some rebe rebels, and militia. This is not a, a great army. Also, I now get to test out Davudu. We get to test out Davudu priestesses. I'm curious what they have. Um, what is their ranged attack? Because they have two shots. Pretty short range. I'm assuming it's some sort of uh, shotgun type of attack. That's my guess. Um, I really want to know what that is. Because usually, almost always in empire i just go with line infantry i very rarely will grab any other unit types because most of the time i can just take advantage of hey i'm gonna make a kill box i'm gonna slowly advance up to you guys take advantage of the fact that i've got so many guns good range good overall good stats that we do decently well but like what kind of guns does it look like you guys have you also have square formation so what the fuck are you what is that as a gun you have a ranged attack. I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay, but uh, I'm going to guess, first and foremost, that uh, enemy reinforcements should be coming from over here. So I want to try and see, first and foremost, if we can try and have it so that we can camp them on their way onto the map. Because ideally, we're going to be able to do that. Also, you guys have a range of only 45, so it's pretty short range. Um, then we got all my cav here that will group up. Um, grab all of you guys... General 2, I'd say, as well. Just kind of chill there. Artillery, you guys can aim your attention at the army that's uh, making their way on over. I think that'll be fine, but start the battle. And then, uh, they are making their way on the map. Just different spot than I thought. So I will actually bring my forces back over this way. Yeah, kind of rush on over because I didn't realize they're going to be coming from back here. So I think we can still get back here in time. So try and rush back here, guys. You go here, here, here. Um, and then I'm going to have my cav, I would say, for the most part. We can probably have you guys just focus on this army here. Okay, this force here should be able to just rush into you guys in melee and slaughter you. This unit's already losing. This one's about to be charged as well. You guys should break pretty easy. I don't think I'm going to have to worry. Yeah, you're already breaking there. 
This one's about to break as well. Perfect. So back over to my other forces. You guys. Okay, so they're rushing over faster than I thought. So let's kind of make my way over here. So you guys right there. You guys kind of uh, right here. And then I'll have uh, the irregulars, all the voodoos, go through the trees, I'll say. So you can try and make your way over there. Uh, the cannons, I'm trying to adjust to you guys. Try and turn around and focus your attention over here. Cav has already slaughtered all of these units. They're almost all done for. Let's see, they're down to like 20 guys there. So they'll be dead any second now. There goes their general. So once you guys are done with them, I'll have you guys make your way over here. Probably rush you through the trees as well to kind of start trying to focus on these units. Because they're about to start getting in range of us. I think I maybe can get a little bit closer. Like, I do kind of want to be next to... Yeah, kind of right there, I'd say. Now, I'm hoping you guys don't break. So I'm trying to have it so that at the moment they are focusing their attention on my forces. Now you guys are making your way forward. Just got to get you guys close enough to be able to do whatever your range attack is. Come on, get a little bit closer. You have really short range. 45 is horrendous. There we go. So now... What is your attack? Oh, no, you're just eating grenades! Also, I think you have more than two shots. <laughs> what the fuck? You guys are more overpowered than my other grenades! You're killing yourselves! Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Cav, go run these guys down. Literally, the, the voodoo chicks just kill themselves with their grenades. Also, might be the fact that we're in the trees. I don't know. Um, I kind of like this unit. Honestly, having like one or two of them. I should be starting this entire forest on fire with this. Oh my god. Don't fuck with voodoo, guys. Like, I thought my normal grenades were overpowered. Like, look at what just happened to this unit. But like... It looks like you guys also shot them. Like, those shots look like they do damage to other people. I just. It's interesting. It's like you're shooting artillery pieces. You just have fucking Molotovs. And you have, like. It says just ammunition of two, but, like, you're not wasting ammo. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely keeping these. Like, two of them is not bad, honestly. Like, I am very okay. I want to see what it's like if I do this not in the trees, though. Because if you guys aren't in the trees, you shouldn't hit other things. Although I think everybody's about to break. You know, there's like one unit over there, so I can have it so we test on that guy. Because I am very curious to see what the hell's going on with that. So let's have you uh, basically just try and hit this guy. Hit this one range and render it a foot unit. And uh, then we can kind of see what it's like if I use this outside of... Also, guys, stop firing. You can stop firing at this point in time. We're running them down with my infantry. We're, we're just shooting my own men right now at this point with you guys doing that. So yeah, just run these guys down. And then I just want you... Okay. I really want to just test this. So come on. I want to see what it's like when you're out in the open. Is it all that much better? Let's see. I don't care if my other men are there. Te throw your Molotovs or whatever the hell they are. They just look like grenades. They're just sticks. No, I, I want no continue. I want to see what the fuck happens. Okay, you guys just all get away from them. Come on, get in up, get on in close, and throw them. I want to see what it's like when it's out in the open. Because we did a lot of tests where we're in the trees. Yeah, just keep running closer. Okay, now throw them. Oh no, it's, it's a very similar attack. Okay, so. Same deal. It seems like you're still killing yourselves accidentally. But no, you guys are pretty fast, at least. I think it was just because that you were in the trees that you were killing yourself. Okay. I do like these units, though. I do like them. They, do, they seem to do decent damage. Actually, it feels like they do less damage outside of the trees. Uh, that's loud as hell. Okay, but yeah, don't fuck with voodoo, guys. Now we're going to have to have it so, um... I think having one to two of those in an army is not bad. Like, I know the Buccaneers, by far, best infantry unit we've got so far. Them having the grenades, amazing. Um, but honestly, like, how many how many kills did the voodoo units get? Let's see, voodoo priestesses. Yeah, one of you got 230 kills. That's not bad. 
I think it's because they were uh, running is why you didn't get all that many other kills. No, I'd say this unit actually is worth it. The Voodoo Priestesses are definitely worth having in my armies. Okay, so we have lost Texas. That's okay. Uh, we will reclaim that once we're done with the Apache, because at least those guys are going to be a hell of a lot weaker than the Apache forces for right now. So we're going to keep making our way forward. It's going to take us, to like, what, one more turn? Yeah, one more turn. As long as they don't have any other armies, I should be okay here, because, yeah, just keep, keep bringing you guys up here. I don't have nearly as many reinforcements as last time, but it also doesn't look like they have nearly as many armies this time either. Please tell me I'm only seeing... So... Do I see two on top of you? I think there is another full stack fucking army just right there. Oh my god. Okay, 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 we're gonna try. <clears throat> Maybe I should have you guys wait until I have more reinforcements. I think I'm going to. Like, wait until these six units get over there as well, so at least I've got ten units then total of reinforcements. If they want to attack me right now, they can go for it, but I think at the moment, I don't want to go over there too much. Oh, God. What is with the recruitment in this campaign, in this mod? You guys can easily push on in here. Um, I'm going to see if I'll just accept the surrender. They have been. I love how they actually accept the surrender more often in this mod, but there we go. So, you guys have now surrendered. I can then now finish you two off here. I'll resolve you. Not the worst casualties. And then let's have it so... I don't have enough movement to get over here to deal with you guys. It's actually going to take me a couple turns to do that. So we can just go on in here for right now. I do need to repair this. I don't have the money for it. Um, also, this I'm probably just going to get rid of... Uh, let's see. This Yeah, this place is not good for military. It doesn't have any population at all. So we'll ignore uh, building anything around in this area for you guys. Um, scandal. Can we fucking stop? Fine. I don't like that it keeps reducing my tax rate right now. I hate the hat at the moment. I love that you guys actually right now are happy to deal with your own rebellions over here of yourselves. So they're killing those units right now, which is perfect for us at this point in time. Also, it looks like uh, they still have their forces around here. Um, I have, I am in, in position basically right now at this point. So what we're going to do is I want to have it. So what we're going to do is let me get you a little bit closer. And then I need to have it so this army is going to be the one leading the assault. We have the tiny little army right there that we can go into and attack. Also, we have finished some stuff up. I will start, before we forget, um, to move these units up forward. And then also, now that we control more regions of the Bahamas, um, or more re islands around here, I actually need to kind of spread out and start uh, holding more land, or basically try and prevent more areas to drop off units, because I know, like, hey, this area is completely defenseless, this area is completely defenseless, defenseless. So what I'm going to do is let me grab some, like, random buccaneers to be able to put on into ports. So, like, you, you, and get some here as well. Grab some units around there to be able to put on in ports. And then I'm going to start trying to get a couple more, like, random little ships around here. Uh, to try and... Oh, not you. Um, this one here, right there. You, and then over here as well. To be able to try and help out. Uh, this area, I can grab another buccaneer. And then you. So what we want to try and do is kind of cover... Like, this port's actually fine. They might try and drop troops off, but I would say, like... Let's put uh, off you kind of more on the eastern side. So try and make it so, hey, they can't walk through this area, sail through this area. I also want to get like a ship over here. Or actually, I can maybe put you guys this area first. Because then, right now, this is covered. They can't get through here. Um, I would say for right now, honestly, yeah, you guys do kind of cover that. This fleet is my big one that I kind of do want to still keep around here. Eventually, I'll say we will get some more vessels basically through you guys going over to the west. So we're going to want to try and cover you guys, but I think for right now, those troops that we grabbed, I think will be good to just put in ports. Um, then, what do we got up here? So, can we please stop? Tighten the belt. Religion stuff, slave trade, and then that is it for that right now. So this army also, before I forget, I'm going to send you up around this way. You're going to be trying to deal with these guys still. And then my fleet... Um, you guys, I think for right now, I don't need to have you stay up around here so we can actually bring you down this area to try and help defend these islands as well until I get other fleets over. Now, this is going to be the fun part, where I have to do another massive-ass fight here to deal with you guys. So I need to make sure, so it is, yeah, Winnetou is the one I want to attack specifically. And technically, I think the way we're going to want to go about this is I, I am the aggressor, so I have to actually be the one leading the assault on them. They've got about 6,000 guys, they outnumber me 2 to 1. But this army is so tiny, initially... 
I think what we can try and do is actually rush at them and try and make it so that we're going to camp the troops that are making their way on the map um, initially. That way, because I, I have to kill everybody. I can't just wait out the timer and win. I have to actually kill everybody to win this fight and then be able to try and have it so that we will be able to take the city. So, uh, my cav, rush on up, kill these guys initially with them, just my cav, because I think they should be fine. They're not going to worry too much. Infantry, we're going to need to try and rush on over to where the reinforcements are coming from, which should be directly behind them. So hopefully we can get there in time and be able to do a decent amount of damage to these guys. Because what I'm hoping I can do is what we're going to do right now is I'm grouped up here. We're going to try and see. So at the moment, where are they coming in from? So the enemy reinforcements are coming in right here. So I am going to walk over here. I'm going to slowly walk on over with all my infantry, of all of my cavalry, kind of more on the right side. I would love to be able to try and uh, kill this army before the reinforcements get to them. But I just know we're so far away, we're not going to be able to do that. So what I need to do is I want to get in position and get ready to have it so that basically I'm going to engage them while having troops already positioned right here. So that as soon as I engage this army, any units that I kill and they run off the map will then be just immediately camped as soon as they get on the map. Okay, we've now been able to start trying to surround them. I have it so that basically I've got these three guys waiting because I think if I remember correctly it was supposed to be right around here is where they're spawning. So you guys are set up there, ready and rearing to go to be able to slaughter them. Cav, you need to start trying to focus on their drone's bodyguard over here who charged us. You guys are all at least unloading into these units here. And soon, we should start noticing some changes, I would say, um, with the fact that some of these units will start breaking off. Their men should start being, uh, bringing, uh, <laughs> reinforcements should be brought on in. And then we can just start slaughtering them. And ideally, what we'll be able to do is have it so we just have a continuous slaughter here. And I and then just hopefully not have to worry about taking out too many of these men with my units out in the open right here. So let's have it so Cav kind of spread out here a little bit now that that general's dead. We're going to now start trying to charge on in here, see if we can just start shattering this army. Because I think you guys are ready and in position. So we need to now start just having everything fall into place. And what better way than with a massive ass charge? Yeah, get on in here. Everybody charge on in on the backside, and hopefully we'll just shatter all these units all at once. Still haven't seen any more units get on the map just yet. There'll be a while until you guys get on the map. It's either I have to kill the unit entirely or let them run away. Technically, we want to be able to route this entire force. Don't want to actually capture them all. And then we want to have it so that we can basically guarantee that we get more of you guys to be just shot at. I need more of you guys to probably start trying to make my way over here. So, like, let's get you guys to kind of move up a little bit closer here. You guys are fine as you are. Our cab's doing really well. Let's get my cab to kind of back on up a little bit and try and do another charge. Okay, perfect. I did have the right spot set up. So, you guys, as soon as they're on the map fully, unload, please, to make sure that we can start trying to slaughter these guys. Point blank range right here. Beautiful. Yep, so there goes one unit. So that guy's absolutely slaughtered. I've got more men making their way up over here at the moment. So for right now, try and have it to my cav. Uh, try and actually slow down killing units. And uh, at the moment, try and have it so you just kind of wait a little bit. And uh, let's have it so we give more time for my infantry to get in position. You slaughter one unit really nicely. And then it gives you guys just enough time to kind of reload. Oh, actually, almost just enough time to reload. Still doing well. Uh, other forces are almost here. You guys are just slowly making your way on over. As long as you guys don't get melee, it should be okay. Okay, things are going really well, but some of my guys are starting to break over here. I think it's because we ran around so much, so the guys are kind of a bit tired. Trying to see if we can break them all, though, with my cav now. I also wonder if we can technically get them to break and not have to fight the rest of the units. Because I wonder if I can just basically break them fast enough that they can't actually reinforce. Like, is that possible? I don't know. It'd be nice. Because, like, that actually... Wait, is there, like, nobody else coming on the map right now? Oh, no, there are. There, there, there still are. Okay. I was about to say, like, what the hell? Uh, but, you know, Cav. Make sure you guys yeah, get back over here. Focus on these guys. I do have more men making their way in. You guys need to turn back around. You need to get all of you guys back on in into position. Go there. Cav, uh, finish that one unit off, and then I need to get you guys over to right now, over this way. So, kind of head over here, try and hit this unit. Just make sure you're in position. These guys, at least, are in position. I just need to get them closer right now. So, like, you guys try and go to right here. 
so you can unload on them as they're making their way onto the map. Okay, things are going fairly well, I would say, at this point in time. Um, they did kind of start getting through here a little bit. Uh, I'm now just running them down with my cav here. For the most part, though, I'm waiting on reinforcements here in the form of you guys. Uh, this unit is, yes, yeah, so running away. Good. Keep taking your time there as I need to kind of let you guys slow your advance. There's a lot of guys over here. If you guys can, don't forget you have grenades. Do not forget that you have grenades, guys, if you can. Because I know, like, these units here, I'm going to get you guys just a little bit closer. And then I'm st I still need to kind of, like, spread you guys out at the moment. You're a little too blobbed up. Uh, Cav, let's get you guys to run back over here. Keep helping out with these units. They're in melee. Try and remember that you have grenades, guys, and actually throw them, please. I need those grenades uh, being lobbed right now. A good blob here would break quite a few of you guys. Come on, eat the grenades. Eat the grenades. You did not need the grenades. I don't think you're going to. Oh, no, there you go. You're about to. Okay. So then I can just try and get uh, you two form back up here. Actually, kind of have it sort of like you two go about here. And then I can spread you guys out a little bit more, too, because then you'll have just more men firing all at once. Yeah, so right there and right there. Cav is good. Pull you guys back a little bit more. Because I need to stay out of melee for t right now. You guys are taking a decent amount of damage. I think we can just kind of let my guns keep doing their thing for right now. Because that's going to make it so more of them are going to break from just being shot at uh, continuously. And I'll just have my cav at the moment. Try If anybody gets in melee, that's when we start trying to send my cav on in. So like right there. Uh, you guys are pretty close, but you're breaking. There we go. So yeah, back off again, cav. Just keep trying to hold back. Because I don't know how many more of them we have to kill. But, oh, uh, some of you guys are running out of ammo. Oh, that's not good that some of you guys are now starting to run out of ammo. Okay, there we go. We broke them all. So, not as bad as last time, since we were able to get set up on the edge of the map right there and absolutely do a number on these guys. Now, hopefully, you'll surrender the damn city. And then the Apache can be dead. I will have to... I still have to go back and reclaim Texas. Lost 4,000 guys there. Uh, my cav did decent amount of damage. At least, like, you guys didn't actually take any damage there. So those guys are just ready to go. Perfect. So you're gonna be pushed back, you're gonna be killed there. And then let me see, so if I attack this area, will you surrender? They will! Now they're just dead! Perfect! That way I don't have to fight all of them, now we can just get rid of that stuff. Um, I will have you... Try and get the farm here, because again, these areas are really low population. I feel like I should do that to help you guys grow a little bit more. But hey, we've now been able to at least get rid of you guys. Oh, we lost the peg legged plunderers. Aww. I'll have to make sure that we uh, have one of these units take over their legacy. As you guys have been doing well. But that unit finally took long enough, but they finally died. I can only keep that guy alive for so long. Yes, but I'll grab Great you guys call. there. I definitely do need reinforcements. I'm glad I'm grabbing some already from Texas. I mean, no, sorry, Texas from Mexico City. I do kind of want to push on up here next turn for you guys. I don't want to. I really want to make sure we can go back over and take Texas back. Um, I could almost maybe just do that with the reinforcements because at the moment right now, again, they, they have to keep fighting rebellions right now. So if you guys can get over there with these six units, maybe take that back? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. Um, if anything at all, I can probably at least try and bring my forces over there next turn. I'll probably kill these guys first, then make my way over there. I will have to make sure that Mexico, though. You guys here uh, definitely start getting me some more cav, I would say. And then, um, I think it's just get good. Yeah, we need a lot of cav. I have infantry already making their way on over there. And if I really need to, um, I cannot <laughs> uh, get those guys over here just yet. I have to upgrade these areas a little bit more. Although, these are not the best areas for that. Alrighty, I do love that the British are here with far more fleets than I would like. So, we're gonna have to try and deal with these guys. Uh, they've got a force right here. I do need to try and bring on over other vessels right now that I was trying to bring on up to be able to help uh, cover more ground. So, you guys... Actually, I think... Let's see. So, you're the same ship here. So, we can try and do this. I'm gonna have you kind of take the spot of where this vessel is currently. And then I can move you maybe a little bit further. Uh, actually, no, you don't have much movement movement. Actually, it's kind of surprising. So, well, okay, we'll just keep moving the normal vessel. So, you keep making your way up on here. Same with you. I'm going to have you try and take the spot of uh, this vessel. 
And then you guys. I don't have enough movement to get over here. I do not. So at the moment right now, I think what we'll be doing is I can probably hit you. Let's see, there's two vessels. I hope I can hit you and then this other one too. Um, auto resolve. I don't fucking trust you. I don't well, I want to. It's two ships. You'd kill like two of my ships in return, which is not going to happen. I'm going to walk on up here, sail into you guys and slaughter you. And then if I have enough movement, I can get to that other vessel they have as well. That's also trying to drop off an army. Um, I can't wait until I can finally drop an army off on the British goddamn isles. I want to do that so badly. I want to make sure that at some point I'm going to be bringing over a force and I'm going to be fucking up the British Isles with just have a bunch of pirates landing on the British Isles. Like, I can't wait for that because we're getting there at some point soon. I'll start deployment for right now, though, and uh, start trying to bring you guys a bit closer. It looks like they're going to kind of try and sail a bit towards me. We literally just need to get in range of you guys and then unload into you. Now, I do appreciate that, actually, uh, this vessel right here, this fifth rate, I'm probably going to want to try and keep if I can capture it. So you guys right now are in range of these vessels. I'm trying to get you guys back over here a little bit closer. So right now, you guys are all on grape shot, trying to just unload into these ships. Um, slowly but surely. Oh, yeah, right there. That volley right there just did you guys in. These guys are down to 50, so you have a couple more. You need to kind of rotate around this way. Yeah, just keep him in line of sight. This vessel's about to surrender already, so just try and get it one more good volley into him if you can. And then the rest of you, don't like rotating like that, uh, need to focus your attention onto this guy. He's got 40 now at this point. You're about to break. Come on, keep trying to rotate after the fifth rate. You same deal over here. Okay, so almost all dead. You guys kind of make your way back this way. Okay, I don't know how the fuck that's considered a close victory. <laughs> Seriously, I slaughtered those guys, and now hopefully, uh, I captured them both. I would love to get that fifth rate. I would love to get that fifth rate in here so we have an even larger fleet. Um, and then I have to hope that maybe I have enough movement to get to the other fleet as well. I know I at least have a one unit. Okay, so I captured one. Technically, I have one remaining. So I captured the sixth rate. I don't want the sixth rate, so I'll just take that for cash. Movement-wise, I do have enough movement to hit you. Perfect. Okay, well, for right now, I'm going to remember to at least make sure to grab you and just put these guys into my ports. Um, but I think, and please, well, let me be accurate on this. Let's see, fifth rate and a sixth rate. We are victorious. Fuck you. I got the fifth rate. I shouldn't have lost those two vessels. Like I said, lost two vessels for that. Uh, okay, that's fine. Repair my vessel. Repair my fleet. I can gather more later on. Um, but you guys are good right there right now. Uh, I have more ships that I will be sending on up around here. I'm going to have you. So we're going to... We need to keep just recruiting more ships in general. To be able to send in over here and make sure that we have a nice barricade across the entirety of the Caribbean. So nobody can drop off troops ever around here. That's my hope. Uh, first ship of the rate of the line, Great Britain. Ooh, I want to steal that. I want to steal that so damn badly. Uh, you guys have swamp fever right now. Are you losing troops because of that? At the ready. Uh, no, not really. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're going to be done for today right now, though. I have it so that we now have it so in position. I've got a lot of guys that are going to be watching over my ports. Uh, I have it so now we have it so we have been able to get rid of the Apache. I have to reclaim Texas now at this point in time, which is not that bad. Given the forces that I've got around here, you guys I know for sure I'll have probably just make your way on in, kill these guys, then make your way over, take Texas. And then after that, we just need to gather a full force, make my way back up into Santa Fe, and then we have this entire little area under my control. I think the way we're going to go about this, I probably will still fight the Dakota forces, because I still kind of want to have it so that, well, maybe I can ignore them. Maybe I can ignore them. I can't offer a peace treaty, so I can't even try that. But I think we can at least have it so we can focus on now just dealing with uh, Louisiana. Push on in here. I do want, like, the entirety of the Americas, though. So, like, if we're going to do that, I should take out you guys. But I'm kind of... How much I want to bet it's going to be the same thing, just like with the Apache, where they just have army after army after army over there. Like, oh my god, if they have just, like, three, four full stacks, that'd be disgusting. But I'm going to be done for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. Love hearing you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general? This is Rampant. I'll see you guys next time. But I'm kind of... 
I'm not sure what I bet. It's going to be the same thing, just like with the Apache. 